so sure about that. I mean, your GPS tracking on your phone is on. What? What are you talking See, about? See, here you are. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't live here. I just said no one by the name of Miss Witch lives here. Oh, I am sorry. I, that's the only name I know you by. It's Mr. West. Oh, but everybody else calls you. Yes, I know what everyone else calls me, but my name is Witch. Middle name of the last name West. <laughs> Mr. West. The Witch is editorial. <laughs> oh, well, I've never met a witch that was a mister before. Huh. Well, anyway, I, it doesn't matter. I am very angry with you. You are? Yes. Furious, even. I'm shaking with fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it because I made the scarecrow's alarm the sound of crackling fire? Uh, um, what? Oh, no, no, is it because I made the tin man an invitation to play Candy Crush, but he can't because his fingers are made of tin? <laughs> or is it because my flying monkey minions are currently seasoning a boiling pot of water for K Kansas Booch Stew tonight? Well, Toto's right here. Oh, shoot, that doggo has run off, runs off everywhere. <laughs> well? Oh, 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 no, no, it's none of those things, but all of those things sound terrible, and which I will speak to you later. <laughs> well, then? What is it? Oh, um, you butt-dialed me. Excuse me? <laughs> you butt-dialed me. I am a witch, dear. I do not... Oh, my man! I need to put a password on this thing. Aha! <laughs> okay, fine. So I butt-dialed you. Oh, feel lucky that my butt feels more fondly for you than the rest of me does. No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm, I'm done playing this guessing game. Well, it left a voicemail, and I heard the entire conversation. My ass left you a voicemail. No, you did. <laughs> A voicemail of a conversation with whom? Chistery. He's a monkey. That must have been some conversation. Well, no. I heard you tell him that you thought my feet looked fat in these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just listed three ways in which I have quite creatively viciously tortured your friends, and you're having insecurities about some lady problem. <laughs> yes. Uh, she snapped Chuck Mevis photo of these shoes that she bought, um, these silver pumps, which with a heading that says, um, you jelly? I mean, look at the soles of the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're size four, I'm a size ten, so naturally I'm really super, you know, insecure about it. <laughs> and then the mayor of Munchkin Land wouldn't, he wouldn't retweet me, and then he retweeted Glenda like twice, and then you sent me the voicemail, and it was like, oh, I'm gee, my feet are I shouldn't kill you right now. <laughs> <laughs> because if he retweets her, then I'm pretty much dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my broom. <laughs> you wouldn't kill Glinda. I mean, you're just upset because I have elephant feet. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would love to kill you both. I'm an equal opportunity murderer of morons! <laughs> you know, we used to be really close when I first came to Oz, and then, and then she became like this really two-faced rat. Why? <laughs> Listen, honey. I would want you dead no matter your shoe size. You're being very disruptive of my plan to take over Oz. Well, and my Sunday afternoon. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for my feelings, Miss Witch. I mean, Wes, but I, I'm just... What? Well, whatever, you know, I'm... Thank you for listening to my problems. Have you been paying attention at all? No, no I, I, I'm, I'm just very, you know, I feel... There's a lot of pressure on me. You know, everyone keeps looking at my feet. <laughs> because of the shoes. Right. Well, I would be happy to uh, you know, take them off your hands. 
feet. Um, trade you for a pair of black boots. Oh, black is slimming. <laughs> I think I'll take you up on that. Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! Ha! That was very. Ah! Uh, you almost got me. <laughs> she bases her intellectual worth on her shoe size, but that she catches. They're <laughs> very tricky. Ah, <laughs> uh, just figured it was worth a shot. You know, you're, you're very nice. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sorry, I keep saying that. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You're very dumb, so don't take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Plus, you know, everyone makes that 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 mistake. You know, everyone thinks I'm a woman. Well, it's probably because of how you're dressed. <laughs> Excuse me, young lady. This happens to be very in right now in the Emerald City. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, and, and no, I, I think it comes from my youth, you know, I was, I was trying to be too cool, you know, got, mm, wanted to make new trends and stuff. Oh, was... oh, like hipsters! No! Oh. Dorothy! <laughs> way cooler than hipsters! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, which happens to be a unisex term, like doctor or chef, but I knew it, so I took it instead of wizard. But it turns out, all you need to do to be successful is choose wizard. But I did it! <laughs> I, I know exactly how you feel. It's, it's hard being different. What would you know about it? Oh, well, um, my family likes to work on the farm, but I like to sit and daydream about exciting adventures somewhere over the rainbow. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm different too. No, you're, you're just a, a spoiled brat who, who can't get her hands dirty. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. Wicked holds true, dearie. Well, I'm, I'm just really sensitive. Thank you very much. No, you're a shallow <laughs> bitch who doesn't have any friends because you're a shallow bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not true. You just listed a bunch of awful things you're going to do to my friends, and that's what you said. They're my friends. <laughs> oh. They're not your friends. The Scarecrow just wants to get into your pants, but he's too dumb to make a move. The Tin Man also wants to get into your pants, but let's just say that tin is a soft, pliable material. And the lion just follows you around because he's trying to build up the balls to do the other two. Oh, what about Toto? He's a fucking dog. He'll follow anything that feeds him. But he is pretty cute, so I'll have to give you that. Although he eats my slippers. Oh my gosh, Chistry does the same thing. I'm pets, right? I suppose. You know, I read somewhere that pets chew shoes to curb the anxiety of their owners being away. Really? Huh. You sure know a lot of useless stuff. <laughs> well, I do have a lot of time to read here in my secluded castle. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. So you want to fool around? <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. West, dear, not Mr. Gray. <laughs> 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 Are you really going to eat Toto? Nah, he's too adorable. I'm gonna keep him. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a relief. A little bit of rainbow in the storm that is my feet, which are freakishly huge. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Good one, little lady. Oh, <laughs> The line's dead. What? <laughs>